This is John. Guys, you ain't going to believe this. Something told me to go outside and film the sky. I, I would take it. That's the Holy Spirit. Because I usually don't do such things very, very often, rarely. So I went outside and I was looked around with my, I had my uh, iPad to have a camera to videotape and I, I looked up and saw a lot of red, the red iron oxide, I guess, I guess it's from that planet X. If it be real, and I, I believe it to be, but I'm not 100% sure because if the Earth's flat, I don't understand how it gets in the, uh, through the uh, firm, or dome firm, uh, firmament. If it's flat and there's a firm over the Earth, I don't understand that. I'm confused on the planet X and and the uh, dome firmament and being a flat Earth and how that all would work out. But none of that, uh, they're saying that a lot of people have said our sun is fake right now because it's burned out. And they had proof they showed it's like a hexagonal shape and it's got like these mirrors in it. And the hexagonal shaped mirrors all made up of a bunch of them. And they shine like a laser into it. They said a huge powerful laser that makes it light up. And that, Bri that Byron Searle, I'll get to this picture in a minute. I'm a horrible drawer, so I know that. But... Now Byron Searle said, uh, in a, he's a real good prophet of, of God's, I, I believe him to be, and a lot of people does. He said that uh, the fallen angel technology is a cloak in their skies, it's cloaking their skies, and hiding those uh, uh, planets, like the seven planets that's with planet X or whatever, seven or nine, I think it's seven, and not probably not counting the moons, and he said they're all on, right on top of us right now, the Lord told him, and he said whenever they're uh, fallen angel technology, whenever it, it fails, uh, people will see them right on top of us and uh, says in the Bible, you know, it says men's hearts will fail them for what's coming on the earth. And he says something about the Lord told him that they'll see it, be terrified of what they see. And that's probably the time when that happens at uh, close to three days darkness, whenever the aliens come down, or I don't know if that's before or after that. Probably after after the rapture happens, and then they come down and trick people, try to trick people with Obama as their leader, and try to make people think they created people and all that. And they're aliens, but they're really demons, and they didn't create nobody. God, Yahweh, in heaven. God, Yahweh, is a true creator. He's the only true, uh, creator of all things. And he's the one true God, God, Yahweh, and Jesus. is There is one. But you're going to freak out. I went outside. So the Holy, I feel like the Holy Spirit told me to, and to get my iPad, and I did. I took off quickly. It was getting dark, and I, I didn't even notice it when I filmed it. And you'll have to stop and pause it when you see this in the sky. And you can pause it at different sections to look at it and then compare it with this. But this is a chariot, I believe. Uh, a chariot of God, I believe. God Yahweh. Uh, this is an angel riding in it. And what I've seen in the sky, and I'll show it to you and so you can see it when you stop the video on that part. You can stop it for yourself and look at it. And I wrote down below it, Angel of God Yahweh. Uh, riding in a chariot holding a shofar getting ready to blow it for the rapture of the bride of Christ getting ready to go home guys now anytime we're getting ready to go home now anytime well now look here is what you're going to see when you see it it's uh I'm not a good drawer I'm yet but see that's his head hair he has long hair and he has a beard I think that's his arm hand on the shofar shofar goes up around to his mouth uh, now, I hope you guys can see it as good as I had to keep praying about it. The Holy Spirit to show me until I, it came into focus. And I'd look at it for a long time and praying to the Holy Spirit. I hope, I hope y'all can see it as good as I do. But I see it pretty darn clear. And here's his arm. Uh, his chest. It's his shirt is on blue, like a light color blue. And his, uh, like a robe or whatever. It's all blue. This is his uh, robe that goes on down and his legs. And this is the seat to the ch uh, chariot. You see? And there's the shofar, that thing going all the way around and sticking out. You see it sticking out the back. He's got it up to his mouth, getting ready to blow it the way I see it. Guys, we're getting ready to go home. This is amazing. I praise the Lord. I don't know why the Lord let me see that, but I started crying. I said, I'm so unworthy, Lord. Why did you let me see that? And I do feel so unworthy. I am just love my, I love my Lord. I said, Lord, I've done things, horrible things. Why would you allow me to be a watchman for you, Lord, and, and, to, and to pick me to let me see things like that? Because there it was right over my home. 
right in front of it up above it and that's amazing i just praise jesus and i praise god yahweh he's such a good god guys if you ain't right with him get right now i'm telling you ask jesus to save you first repent of your sins ask jesus to forgive you for sins and then ask, ask him to save you and seek 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 him as fast as you can because we ain't got just a seconds to go he's coming guys and then that boom video i had about the loud explosions that people have been hearing on the east coast uh, that other guy that's uh, supposed to be a prophet of God, Yahweh, he said when you hear a big boom, he was told by the Lord, then, then look up because uh, he's coming for us in the rapture right after that. And there the explosion happened. And uh, guys, we're getting ready to go home. Please get right with Jesus. Everybody be repenting right now. I want to put these two videos together and go ahead and put it out. That's just amazing to me. I hope y'all can see it. With, if you have spiritual eyes, you should be able to see it like I do. God bless y'all. I'll get to the next part of the video. Add to it right now. Don't don't go nowhere. Right? Watch this rest of it. This, you've got to stop it on it on the part where it shows it. Okay, and you can stop it on different sections where it shows it. And yeah, like my Apple iPad, I can sort of grab it and grab it and pull it out wider and see it closer up. I don't know if you can do that or not on my videos, but I'm not very good at technical stuff. So I, if I was, I could break it all down for you on the video. But I don't know how to do all that. All right, guys, let, watch the rest of here. Look at the red dust from my planet. This is John. Look at that red dust. It's always like that back at, uh, that's toward the east from where I live. There's the full moon. Rapture so near, guys. Look at that. It's, it usually does that every, a lot of the evening. Full moon, guys. You look at this. And that ought to. Look at that. I don't know what that. More red. More of that red dust. Iron, uh, iron oxide out that way, too. You see it? And that's out this way. See that? It's getting worse. They're they're cloaking the skies with some kind of uh, fallen angel technology. And it's, according to Byron Searle, it's going to break down, and you're going to see all them planets or whatever on probably nine planets or something, seven, or right on top of us. Like the Bible says, men's hearts will fail them for what they see coming on the earth. It's very strange times. We live in all the way through her. See the red iron oxide all the way through her, there. And then goes on around to it. You get on past this side and then the full moon. There's my dog. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. <laughs> There's my doggy. What's your doggy, boy? <laughs>